Alrighty. Good afternoon. It's Sunday. Heading into work. Somehow I managed to volunteer myself again for a 12 hour shift. It was only supposed to be a six. But oh well. If there's ever a time to make a little extra money, this would be the time of year. So heading in. Cold, cloudy, miserable day. Went out yesterday and uh, got some things accomplished. We were uh, got some stuff for the bathroom. Got that getting set up for delivery. Went and bought some bacon. And uh, Kitty, I I cooked it in water this morning and uh, came out good. I'm going to cook it regular again probably maybe tomorrow. I doubt if I'll have a live stream, but I'll probably have a premiere. Only because I'm not getting home until 3.30 in the morning. And I'll make sure I get enough rest. I'll probably I'll probably get up, go down and have a big protein shake and then lay back down. And then probably won't get moving until around 10 a.m. It's supposed to be a very cold day tomorrow. So not really an ideal day for me to go out for for a walk. Not that you can't go out and walk during the cold days. You can. Just I sit there and rather spend it in the gym. So I'll try to be in the gym by about 1 o'clock my time. It'll give me plenty of time to get warmed up and do another big bench Monday. So remember I got 280 up on Thursday. Which I felt really good about. And then, of course, Friday there was no workout because I had eight hours in between my two 12-hour shifts. That's basically eat, sleep, and do the other S's. So, uh, got my regular work week. I'm not going to be working for the next two weekends. So that's why I'm just kind of fat to check up this time. Uncle Sam will appreciate it. So at this time of year, when you're busy and you got all sorts of holiday things going on and the stress of the holidays, because there's stress there, you know, it's <clears throat> it's hard to get in and, and do the things you want. I was talking to the owner at the trading post. He works a full-time job, sometimes 10, 12 hours a day, plus he runs the place. And he doesn't play, he really doesn't have time to work out. It, 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 that, that'd be a challenge. It really would be. Well, probably the only way you're going to do it is you're going to have to bring weights to your your trading post. That's the only way it's going to happen. Otherwise, yeah, it's definitely uh, that's tricky. I mean, when, when people are doing two different jobs full time, that can really wear on you, and it can make it very difficult to stay in shape. But remember, staying in shape is huge for your health. Not letting yourself or letting yourself go is, is, is not the answer. You got to try to sneak something in there, even if it's 20 minutes of just cardio. That will help. You know, if it's 20, 30 minutes of just lifting some dumbbells. You know, it's better than doing nothing. The problem is, is we get the, kind of depressed or we get overwhelmed. And at the end of the day, we realize that we didn't do it, now we're upset, well, that's that's when you go do it. That's why I have weights everywhere. And I'm not perfect at it. And I don't expect anybody to be perfect at it. So if you miss a day or two, don't stop. Just start back up. You know, being fit for life is a series of restarts. Lots of restarts. Uh, basically, you're restarting all the time. That's the only way you keep going. Because if you stop and then you never restart it, well then, what you, all those things you gained quickly disappear. And I can still remember I took about a three-year break. And I shouldn't have, but I did. And it took a long look in the mirror. And I looked at a picture of what I looked like three years ago, and I'm like, wow. I'd let myself go. You know, was I working a lot of hours? Yeah, I was. You know, 
wife was never saying, hey, you need to go work out again. So you look fine. I didn't. So I started getting back into it. I made time. I went during my lunch. So instead of eating bad food, I went to the gym. Not everybody can do that. I was in a position where I could do it because of the hours I worked. If they were going to say anything, I'm saying, hey, I'm working 12 hours. All right, I'm going to take an hour and a half at the gym. This is the way it's going to be. If you're on an eight-hour shift, you know, yeah, they're probably not going to let you do that. But then you have to either go before or you got to go after. And it pays dividends that you will enjoy as you get older. I see a lot of the younger kids working out, and they walk outside and they fire up a cigarette. And I mean, their endurance is better than mine because they're young. I said, but I said, you'll get away with that for so long, and then one day you'll realize your endurance is garbage. So, don't smoke. Coming from somebody who did. Never did a lot of it, but I did it, and I regret doing it. So, if you are smoking, it will do your health many, many benefits to get rid of. You know, <clears throat> common cold lasts a person who's on supplements and in great shape three to five days. If they get it, they're, less, they're probably 50% less likely even to get it. A, a regular person who doesn't smoke, five to seven days, and a smoker who works out, probably five to seven days. But the most smoker who doesn't work out, that's 10 to 14 days. And a lot of times it'll lead into the flu or lead into pneumonia because your body is just not at its peak. There are so many things that you're not getting from the processed foods today that, you know, just a multivitamin once a day would do wonders for you. Now, some of us take a lot of supplements. I'm not trying to sell supplements. But if you're not taking anything, I would suggest a multivitamin. And you may find that you're starting to feel better. And it may perk your interest to do some other supplements. <clears throat> I mean, there's a point of redundancy. But uh, I know I feel better now than I did a couple years ago. When I forgot to take it. I just kind of got out of the habit of taking vitamins. I got out of the habit of taking natural supplements. I'll probably be taking some statins for my cholesterol. And I, I don't take any of that stuff now, and I'm on natural supplements, and I feel far better than I probably have in the last 20 years. And that's something to say. So my advice is at least a multivitamin once a day. Take it with food. If you're going to take separate vitamins, vitamin C, vitamin D3, and zinc, and magnesium would be the ones I would make sure you have. Potassium and all those other ones, calcium, a lot of times it's coming with the multivitamin, but if you are older and it might behoove you to take D with calcium as an extra supplement to keep your bones strong. I think what I'll do is uh, on my live streams, I'll, I'll have everything displayed that I take throughout the week. Some of the stuff I don't take every day. My vitamin K is in my multivitamin, but I do have a separate K plus D3 that I take about once a week. I have an iron that I take once a week. Because I am getting a lot of iron from my food and the way that I cook with cast iron. But still about once a week I'll put it into it because iron you got to be careful with. Most people are deficient, but it's something you don't take a bunch to catch up. Too much iron is poisons, so you have to be careful about that. If you're taking any supplements, Make sure you read up on them. Make sure what you shouldn't take with them at the same time. You know, niacin is something I have to be really careful with, even though it's great for my cholesterol. But if I take it in the presence of other vitamins and supplements, I don't have a good reaction with it. I have to take it for food. And I have to keep the dosage down lower. I'd like to take higher dosages, but it just doesn't, doesn't react well with me. Supplements are going to have slightly different effects on different people. Just the way the supplements go. 
Moringa works fantastic for my breathing. I, right away, within days, I noticed the, the difference. And I took black seed oil because that was another one supposed to be good. Not, didn't even like the way I felt taking it, so I stopped taking that. Although it's supposed to be healthy for you, I have other things that are doing the same thing that don't mess with me. Everybody's physiology, digestive system is slightly different. They're all unique. It's like your fingerprints. So, I'll probably have this upload around 5. It's going to be a slow day at work. Oh, don't you fall down. And, uh, be glad when the shift's over. You know, when you're busy, time goes by a lot faster. My first six hours will be busy, and then after that I'll be <coughs> mostly supervising. And it's something that I really feel that the young man will pick up on with the first hour. But if I left and something went wrong, I'd never hear it So, I'll collect the double time. going to be down in the teens tonight and tomorrow and then by next weekend back in the 50s. This is not unheard of. Yeah, we get warm days in December still. But I am looking forward to Christmas with just the wife and I. And New Year's, we were thinking about taking a trip. Hopefully that will still go on. Who knows? Part of that holiday stress. But I hope everybody's having a good time. Hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful Christmas and New Year's. And remember, be alert out there. You are in charge of your safety. So make sure you know what's around you. You know, don't go to bad places alone. And if you find yourself a situation developing, leaving is always the best option. Moving yourself from the area of possible conflict is always the best option. The only thing you need to sit there and react to it is when you don't have that option of leaving anything. Yeah, we had one guy calling me names at that bar. I just, just walked away. I ain't got time for you. I let the bouncers take care of it. <laughs> so uh, he called me a name. Uh -oh. Because I had to be suspicious. Why, why is he trying to get in a fight with somebody? Next thing you know, he's got a lawyer and he's trying to sue you. You can't, can't leave yourself wide open for that. So your best option is always remove yourself from that area and from that person. Otherwise, that, I'm going to go up and buy some food to keep my energy level up while I'm at work. forward to getting at least six hours of sleep and then a big bench day tomorrow. 385 will be my goal. And I feel it's it's doable. The only thing that would keep me from doing it is if I didn't have a spotter when I get to the gym. Hopefully either Josh or Kevin will be there. So remember rest, nutrition, proper exercise, have fun, do things that you enjoy doing. Don't worry about things that really don't affect you directly.